Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Yesterday the pre-release for 1.7.10 was released and this is an update for Minecraft Realms. Now I know a lot of you are probably not too interested in that so I'll tell you the important information you need to know. There are no bug fixes or changes to the main game and there is no protocol update either. So this means that 1.7.9 will be compatible with 1.7.10. So you don't need to update a server if you run run and you don't need to update your client either. Now another important piece of information is that all Minecraft Realms updates in the future won't affect the Minecraft versions. So there won't be these extra updates that keep rolling out that retain just to the Minecraft Realms. Now there are some new features and changes in this update so we're going to go through those. Of course they are all to do with Minecraft Realms. Since I don't have a Minecraft Realms server, the only way I'm going to be able to show you these features are with some screenshots that I found online. This is the player activity monitor. This is one of the new features. You can see there is a list of players on the left hand side, some of whose names have been blocked out. And then you can see their activity going across day by day. Now each of these blocks represents where in the day that they've been online and how long for and if you hover over one of these supposedly you'll see a tooltip that will tell you when that player logged in when they logged out and how long they were online for this next image is of some of the new options that can be um, enabled on the server so you can turn pvp on and off you can change the spawn settings for animals monsters and npcs you can also change the difficulty and spawn protection if it's turned off it means the spawn area where the loaded chunks are uh, any player will be able to build there but you can turn on spawn protection from 1 to 16 chunks and you'll be able to protect that area from any player building on it and of course you can see you can also change the game mode from survival to creative and this last screenshot that I have is the edit world screen this apparently was already in Minecraft realms they've just changed around the layout you can see here that you can create backups of your worlds you can delete them and you can restore them as well which is a pretty useful feature uh, but as I said, nothing new there, they've just changed the interface. So that is pretty much everything you need to know. Again, no changes to the game, it's all to do with Minecraft Realms, and 1.7.9 is compatible with 1.7.10, and one thing you may have noticed here is that after 1.7.9 doesn't come 1.8, that's because they are not decimal places. So after the 1.9 update of Minecraft, there'll be a 1.10 one. But that is it for this video, so as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.